This gear is called the Prehistoric Piercing Blade. Regular clicking swings the sword. Double clicking performs a jump attack. You can also turn into a dinosaur and deal double damage by killing five enemies with just enough damage to set their health to zero. For more information, keep watching. The Prehistoric Piercing Blade looks like a green and yellow sword made of scales and bone. The sinuous handle is separated from the blade by a striped dome-shaped guard. The lower half of the blade is toothed, and the bottom of the blade is pressed between two reptilian digits, which extend from the guard. When in use, the sword appears held in your hand. The sword is roughly the same height as your character. The tool is sold for an average price of 746 Robux and has the adventure genre. Its attribute is melee, and the description says, Slash and lunge at your enemies to do 12 to 30 damage per hit. Double click to jump in the air and tackle your enemy, in true prehistoric fashion, to do 35 to 60 damage. This blade gains power as you gain KOs. KO 5 other users to transform into a dinosaur and do double damage on all attacks. The in-game icon is a tilted image of the sword. It has no tooltip. When equipped, your cursor changes to the target symbol. Like most gear, the prehistoric piercing blade is droppable. To use the gear, you click with it equipped. If you do not click again in the next 0.15 seconds, then your character will swing the sword, with a 1 in 2 chance of performing a slash, and a 1 in 2 chance of performing a lunge. The sword deals a random amount of damage to each humanoid it hits that is not you, and if you are performing a slash, the minimum damage becomes 12 and the maximum damage becomes 15. If you are performing a lunge, the minimum damage becomes 15 and the maximum damage becomes 30. If you do click again in 0.15 seconds, then your character will perform a jump attack. During this attack, your walk speed will be set to zero, the minimum damage becomes 25, and the maximum damage becomes 35. When you are not performing an attack, the minimum damage is 5 and the maximum damage is 8. Damaging a humanoid causes a red number to appear equal in value to the amount of damage dealt. If you deal exactly enough damage to set a humanoid's health to zero, the sword will raise its dino meter by one point. Once the dino meter reaches five points, the meter will reset and your head will transform into one of two dinosaur heads for 30 seconds. While this transformation is active, the damage you deal with the sword will be doubled. If you kill a player and the game you are playing has KOs, you will earn one. When you unequip the gear, your walk speed is set to the default speed of 16, which can be useful for recovering from slowing effects. Unfortunately, the gear does not work if your characters are 15. The transformation is supposed to affect your entire character, but instead only transforms the head. You are also supposed to be able to fill the dino meter with any death from the sword. However, due to how the the sword was made. If the damage you deal would cause an enemy's health to drop below zero, the death would not increase the meter. So is the prehistoric piercing blade worth getting? I don't believe so. While the concept is interesting and the gear is limited, not enough features work as intended for the gear to be practical. If you have any other gear you want me to review, let me know in the comments. That is all for this review. Bye.